opportunity to learn again at your feet. Thank you because everyone under the sound of my voice receives the light of your word. And we pray for those, oh God, that are watching by way of internet. The same understanding we have, the same light comes upon them. In Jesus' name we pray. We'll be teaching on our reality in Christ. I want you to understand that we are called to see what Christ has done. And we are not called to see from outside inside. We are called to see from inside outside. In Galatians and chapter 3 from verse 1. Paul referred to the church in Galatia as foolish. Why? All foolish Galatians who had bewitched you. So what is a bewitchment? We will find out all of that. That you should not obey the truth before whose eyes Jesus Christ had been evidently set, crucified among you. Next verse. We'll read down to four. He said, this only will I learn of you. Receive ye the spirit by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith. While we're teaching the dynamics of the new creation, we were able to establish that salvation is the giving of the spirit. Now, the very moment you got saved, the Holy Spirit was given to you. Now, I will corroborate that over time. But verse 3 says, are you so foolish? So, ask your neighbor, where did you start from? Having begun, where does a believer start from? Talk to me. Where does a believer start from? Help me tap your neighbor and say, you began from the Spirit. Say, salvation is an initiation into the Spirit of God. So that you will understand. He said, have you begun in the spirit? Are you not made perfect by the flesh? So the church in Galatia started from the spirit, started looking for fleshly things. And that is true of so many Christians today. You are saved, but after your salvation, you are looking for things to complete your salvation. Can I shock you? Nothing will ever complete your salvation. Verse 4 says, have you suffered so many things in vain? If it be yet in vain. Give me NLT. Please give me some time. Because we are laying blocks. You will be blessed today. NLT or message rendering. Help me from verse 3. I don't mind. From verse, or from verse 3. How foolish can you be? After starting your Christian life. Where? Help me raise your right hand. Oh, Pastor Barry will always do that. Let's do an affirmation. My Christian journey. My Christian journey. Began, began. In the spirit. I am not in the flesh. I am in the spirit. Who is the first to say amen? Now? Look at, because people are saved. But after they get saved, they start coming back to the flesh. They start coming back to works. They are looking for who will give them something. A.T. Arrow, African traditional religion. They will say, ah, pastor, you just prayed for me. You didn't give me something to take. You didn't give me three things to do. You didn't tell me, take this, apply it in the morning, afternoon, evening. You didn't tell me, read Psalm in the night. In the morning, read Isaiah. You didn't do something. No, the people who are into that have not understood that their Christian journey began in the spirit. He said, after starting your Christian life in the spirit, why are you not trying to become perfect by your own human after today's message, if you are still carrying a bottle of oil that looks that has become juju in your house, you will throw it away. What did I say? Because I will teach you. God is not in the bottle. God is in you. Can I say that again? God, is, I know as I said it, I have offended you because some of the juju you have kept in the corners of your house, I'm exposing them. That is not your real. Your reality is in Christ, not Goya. Can I shock you? Goya is a name of a company, and I've been so enriched by Christians because of lack of knowledge. We started in the spirit, we are going into the flesh. I'll take you back again. Ephesians 1 13. I need to establish a lot of things. As I said, some things now, some people are angry with me, Pastor. And now you Gentiles have also heard the truth, the good news that God says you. And when you, you believe in Christ, he identified you as his own. By what? How did Christ mark you out that you are his own? So being saved is being spirit enabled. Are you following me today? He identified you as his own by giving you the Holy Spirit whom he promised long ago. So it means that under the Old Testament, the Holy Spirit was not a promise to them because the Holy Spirit did not reside in them. 
The Holy Spirit could not dwell in them. The operations of the Spirit will be upon them. And after the operation, the Spirit will lift. But in the New Testament, based on what Jesus did in his death, in his burial, and his resurrection, everyone that believes the message of the gospel, your starting point is the Spirit. Help me tap your neighbor say, my starting point is the Spirit. Romans 8 verse 9. I'm laying blocks. I must convince you today beyond every reasonable doubt that being saved is being spirit enabled. He said, but you are not in the flesh but in the spirit. If so be that the spirit of God dwell in you. Now, if any man have not the spirit of Christ, he is none of his. It means if any man is not saved, he cannot have the spirit of Christ. But the moment you got saved, he said, but pastor, I still, do, I, still, I still have mistake. I still do some mistake. I still do some things I don't like. Yes. You do those things that don't invalidate what Christ has done. Your problem is you are suffering from identity crisis. You have not submitted yourself to proper teaching of the word of God. And probably you have been taught, but you have not yielded yourself to the teaching that you are hearing. But that does not change what has happened in you. Somebody say amen to this. Amen. Now let's do some work. Uh, Philippians chapter 3 verse 3. Look at how the Bible explains the child of God. And because a lot of us want to go back to the flesh. We started in the spirit. We want to go to the flesh. Everybody read with me. Want to go. For we are the circumcision which worship God. We are. How do we worship God? Why can we worship God in the spirit? Because he identified us with his spirit. Say I'm a worshiper. Because he gave me spirit. He said pastor. See to worship God. Worship is not song. Worship is words. Proper word. We'll come to that. That will be a teaching for another day. But this is the point we are trying to say. We are the circumcision. Which worship God in the spirit. Look at what happened. And rejoice. In Christ Jesus. I have no confidence. We don't base our argument from fleshly things. Say don't worry pastor as I give you this banana your life will change. I'm a man of God. If I'm a man of God. As I put this shoe and you put this shoe in your house. You should put this shoe in front of your door. No thief will come. It's a lie. As I give you this sticker. You put it on your door. No arm robber will cross. It's a lie. The same man who is telling you that. is moving about with policemen. We have no confidence in the flesh. Tap your neighbor. Say, I have no confidence in the flesh. So where do we have confidence? In the spirit. Where do we have confidence? In the spirit. He said, Pastor, as you just as you preach, you didn't even give me something to put on my on my hand. As bango, you call it manto. It's a lie. You have left the spirit, you have come to the flesh. What your eyes can see has become where you develop your faith. But our reality is in Christ, what Christ has done. Don't develop faith in things. Because those things will fail you. But there's one who will never fail. Who is that person? Who will never fail? I know your mind is running up and down. So we'll do another scripture. 1 John chapter 2 verse 20. We'll read 20, we'll read 20, 27. Follow me. Follow me. Are we there? Yes. But you have an unction from the Holy One. And you know all things. Give me an LT. I want to look for one word. <laughs> Give me a message. I will catch that word. If I don't catch it, I will know how to catch it. Correct. Correct. Would you read with me? One to go. But you belong. The Holy One is anointing the bottle or you already anointed. You belong to the Holy One. The Holy One anointed you and you all know it. But when you don't know it, they will sell a bottle for you. You didn't hear what I just said. Verse 27. I'm taking you somewhere. All those juju you kept in your house, get ready to evacuate them. Because your reality is not in bottle. Your reality is, what, is in what Christ has done in you. Everybody read, want to go. But ye are no match for what is embedded deeply within you. What is that? 
Christ no less. You don't need any of their so-called teaching. Christ anointing teaches you the truth on everything you need to know about yourself and him. Uncontaminated by a single lie. Live deeply in what you were taught. You cannot live in a bottle. God cannot dwell in temples. The only temple he can dwell in is in you. Your body has become the temple of the living God. Bottles are inanimate. Human beings are made in his image. It is when those ones receive Christ. Christ gives the first thing he gives to every believer is his spirit. And the spirit is the anointing. Tap your neighbor say the spirit is the anointing. Say pastor prove that to me. Say it to me. Say pastor prove that to me. Luke chapter 4 verse 18. Luke 4 18. Quickly. Everybody are you there? Let's read. One to go. Luke, not Leviticus, Luke 4 18. Luke 4 18. Let's do it. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because He had anointed me to preach. Huh? To preach the gospel. So, who anointed Him? The Spirit. Tap your neighbor, say, The Spirit is the anointing. Say like you mean he said the spirit is the anointing. Say to me, say pastor, one verse of scripture cannot validate this. Acts 10, 38. Are we learning? If you want to be deceived after service, still continue. Are we there? Everybody read with me. How God anointed Jesus of what? What comes to your mind? Jesus in the flesh. Isn't it? That's Nazareth. With what? What was the anointing? What was the anointing? The Holy Ghost. What do you have? What do you have? What do you have? So do you have the anointing? You are just enriching one company called Goya. That oil is called table oil. You can use it for your salad. If you don't know what to use it, use it to fry egg. If you don't know how to use it, send it to me. I'll know how to use it. Somebody say amen to that. Amen. Tap your neighbor. Say all those small, small juju you hang around your house. In the name of Christianity. Some will put bango in their hand. They call it mantle. As you wear this bango. It's a lie, yo. He said, I will write my law in their heart, not in their hand. Under the Old Testament, they put, ask them to bind it in their hand. In the New Testament, he said, I will write it in your heart. He says, I wear it. The, the, the spirit of my father in the Lord is upon you. You know what you are saying? The Holy Spirit in you, you are saying you are an idiot. I believe in a man more than the Holy Spirit in me. Can I say that again? A maker will tell you. When a maker joined this church, he's an artist. He does printing. Oh, at first, speaker, sticker, sticker. One day I say, come. I don't want the people I'm teaching that their faith will be in sticker. He said, I will write my laws in their hearts. It will not be an external thing. That even when there is no sticker, the word of God in you, nobody can take it out. Are you angry with me? There are some people, they go angry. Pastor, hey, who our church? Our church not get who? Our church get Christ. <laughs> Can I say that again? It's Christ we teach here. So you mean our car will be driving? We will not put. Are you advertising me? Can I save any man? Can my blood even save my wife? Let alone my blood will save you. He said, Lao, I will not save you. But one came to save you. My work is to point you to that person. Am I speaking to somebody here today? Can we make some progress? How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with what? And with what? Power. So, we apply the Cairo. Because when you get there now, you say, hey, did you see? He said, with power. Look at it. Let's read it. Let's apply the Cairo. Where do we apply the Cairo? And. The word and. What does the word and mean? That is, which is. Am I communicating? Shall we do that now? Want to go. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost. That is. So, the Holy Ghost is God's power in you. 
no other power after the Holy Ghost. Somebody following? Yes, Tap your neighbor. Say, Pastor is teaching me things that will get me angry. Tell your neighbor that one. Because you were schooled there that you, until you carry one small juju, put in one corner of your house. We were doing it here before. True of us. True. Why are you ashamed to talk? Well, we were not doing it before. As a matter of fact, Pastor Charles was a contractor. He would buy one fine bottle. Very slick and good looking bottle. He would fill the oil and put it here. So that after God, that one would do his work. Second Corinthians chapter 1. From verse 20. Look at your neighbor. See all those small, small juju around your house. You will throw them away after today. If you, tell your neighbor, if you see, refuse to throw it away. Keep serving the juju. It has not changed what Christ has done. Are we in church? For all the promises of God in him are what? Yea. And in him, amen, unto the glory of God by us. Everybody will read the next verse now. Want to go? Now, he which established us with you in Christ and is about to anoint us. What translation of the Bible are you? You read it. And is about to anoint us. No, he is planning to anoint us. And we so anoint us. Can you beat your hand on your chest? Say, I'm anointed. In Christ. In God. Who is the first to say amen? So the anointing is the giving of the spirit. So people still seek another experience. And what is the experience? So Philippians 3.3 3 now says, we are the circumcision that worship God in the spirit. And we don't make provision for the flesh. We don't try to do something from the flesh to win God's attention. Because what God did in Christ that we have received is the highest God could ever do. And after that, God has no offer for any man. You didn't hear what I just said? God has no other offer. He said, Pastor, leave. He's walking. God asked Moses, speak to the rock. In anger, he struck the rock. Question, did he walk? Did he walk? But did he obey? That a thing works or don't make it God. Can I say that again? That a thing work does not make it God. Can I shock you? Even native doctors have results. My fellow clergymen, some of the things you hear when they refuse to submit themselves to the doctrine of Christ is that anything that works is God. A native doctor works. Is he God? There are other religions of the world that have result, but that does not make it God. If it must be God, it must be in Christ because God is understood in Christ. Yes. How many squeeze your neighbors and say, I'm anointed? I'm anointed. Say, to be, more anointed to be more anointed than I am now, I, am now. I will look for Goya boy, which will never happen. You cannot be any more anointed than how God has anointed you. All other experience you are seeking, I may not be there. He said, Leave this pastor. This one, I brought it from Jerusalem. I'm ashamed of you. John 4 from verse 20. John 4 from verse 20. Say, Pastor, if I tell you the despicable things, man of God, that is going on in our society. Some people say, we came with mustard seed from Jerusalem. He says, you take this mustard seed. But the people you, where you collected the mustard seed, they don't worship it the way we worship it here in Nigeria. There is a mental slavery that they have subjected Africans to. And that's why a reggae musician said, emancipate yourself from mental slavery. Even after slave trade got, uh, ended in 1886, I suppose, yet the slave people were still in the farm because it can be abolished and yet not abolished in the minds of the people. Did you hear what I just said? Look at it. Our fathers worship in this mountain. And he said that in Jerusalem is the place where men ought to worship. Quick, quick. We are getting to 24. Jesus said unto her, Woman, believe me, 
the hour come. Which hour was he talking about? The hour of salvation. When ye shall neither in this mountain, nor yet in Jerusalem worship. And yet people are still running there. When they come, do you know I'm a JP? It's a lie. You are a Jerusalem passenger. Call it the, the proper way. JP is a Jerusalem word. What is pilgrim? A pilgrim is someone that is passing through. Oh, you don't understand. I'm not trying to spite you, but that's just the truth. And you attach it to your, uh, after your preface, you put it as, uh, at the end. Say, uh, Pastor Ehis, Ambassador eh, Pastor Ambassador Ehis, Emmanuel Akigbe, Avalenjae, JP. You have just introduced yourself. Jerusalem passing. If that is not the one you mean, highest juju priest. Can I make some progress here? Ye worship ye know not what. We know what we worship for salvation. What he meant is that now Jewish people, Jesus will come from the Jews race. That's what he meant there of the Jews. All right. But the hour comment and none is when the true worshippers shall worship the Lord, where? Where would that happen? The word truth is a Greek word aletia which is reality what did I call it? reality aletia reality so that's why we are talking about the, our reality in Christ so our worship, our service to God must be in the spirit we must not have confidence in the flesh say as I give you this anchor chief, as you are going for that interview you are coming out first and you went there and not only did they disqualify you, you came out first from behind. Your confidence should not be in our chief. Your confidence must be Christ in you. It's a hope of glory. For my body is a temple of the living God. How does God live in you? He lives in you by the spirit. And that spirit is the anointing. Can you put your hand on your head and say, I'm anointed. As you go out this week, I like for you to allow this word resonate in your heart. Before you transact those business, speak to yourself. I'm anointed. I cannot be defeated. The anointing breaks the yoke. What I carry in me breaks any yoke of disappointment. I am anointed. No satanic manipulation work here because I'm anointed. Who is the first to say amen? But the one you will carry one oil in the bottle and say God decide to hide in the bottle. There are no scriptures to support that. What did I say? But unfortunately, Africans like those who deceive them. As I was coming from the US, I actually traveled. Get, get me a bottle of water. Let me have this. Thank you. I called 10 fathers of the faith to pray over this. Apostle, doctor, professor prayed over this. Reverend Dr. Professor Confucian prayed over this. <laughs> and I want to do something today. The Lord told me when you gather the church. Tell them they are entering into a new level. August is the number of eight. How many times have you not seen? You have seen eight, nothing new started in your life. <laughs> now today, I like what you said. <laughs> you know, because people like lies. Your reality is not in number. Your reality is in Christ. You're, that is why you will hardly see me. Every new month, I will not write you a text. This is your month of this. What has it been to you since? Every month is a month of Christ to me. Oh, yes. Am I communicating? Yes. Prophet, doctor, in short, apostle, anachor, what you can pray over this. If I be a man of God, I actually went to the mountain. I will put this all here. Cross it with 100,000. The first 100 persons to cross it. If you are hungry, tell the church you are hungry. Stop lying. This is not the anointing. At best, this is oil for frying buns, chin chin, fish. Stop telling us who prayed over it. Don't intimidate me with any man of God. Teach me Christ. What did I say? What did I say? Help me tap your neighbor. Say, learn Christ. Stop learning names of men of God in the world. I'll give you this before I will make some progress. Some years ago, when our other site, 
a woman came to me, not a member of the church, said, Pastor, would you pray for me? I said, yes, I would. What was the problem? Reverend Dr. this pray for me. Mentioned about 13 persons that have prayed for her. And I said, be big names. Thank God, Jesus is in all, not in name. So I looked at the woman. I said, Madam, I cannot pray for you. Say why? I said, I don't want my name to be mentioned among those who prayed for you. But let me show you what the Bible says. I started opening to her what the Bible says. All of a sudden, she started beaming light. She started smiling. Once you get a man to that place, any prayer you pray works that time. But when you want to be the superhero, Jesus is the hero. We are under shepherd. He's the chief shepherd. Can I say that again? We are what? Under shepherd. He is the chief shepherd. Our reality is not in things. I don't care who that man is that gave it to you. That is how far we have deteriorated. That we are not different from native doctors in church. You didn't hear what I said. Very soon, Pentecostals, charismatic, will start praying with chaplet. All the things we condemn, we have gone to do in all those things. We laughed at Cherubi and Sirai for those days. What we are doing now is worse than what they are doing. We call it assignment. Say as you are coming. There's someone they told in this church. They said, your daughter, this, 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 this. Go and bring whether uh, 150,000. We need to do spiritual work for you. The woman said, can you mention the things? Let me go and buy them. He said, they are spiritual things. <laughs> but money can buy it. What is that person looking for? Let's not change the gospel to money. If God needed men to be rich, he would have sent a rich man. But the problem of humanity was sin. The wages of sin is death. God himself came, died for our sins, liberated us from sin, and gave us a salvation message. Am I communicating? Squeeze your neighbors, even if you're offended. At, at least accept the truth. After the service, tap your neighbor after the service those small small juju you are hanging in your house oil from Jerusalem oil from Egypt water from one river water from Edo water from, <laughs> from Ogoni throw them away Christ lives in you 1 Corinthians and chapter 6, 6, 6. Glory to God. You know, somebody saw me one day say, Pastor, the way they preach, you know, go get money. Oh. So I said, now nah, I know why people are into ministry to get money. Verse 19. Verse 19. 1 Corinthians 6 19. Will you read with me? One to go. What? Know ye not that we are is which is in you which you have of God. Look at the next verse. That body. Now, when someone says what means, why are you people behaving as though God has not done something in you? Why are you making the work of Christ look like a wishy-washy? You don't value what Christ has done. Look at the next verse. He said, for you are bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God. Where do you glorify God? And we are which are God's. Where God stays now is inside of you. Amen. Say what? It means know you not. Anytime I say know you not, say I know. So we read the next verse. Eh? When I say what? Know you not, say I know. Because they didn't know. But this church we know. Oh, yes. We know. We, our confidence is not in the flesh. He say, hmm, as I speak with you now, this handkerchief, my pastor was using it to clean sweat. He gave it to me. I won't touch it. I'll be using it. Now smell you, they carry home. Sweat, they smell. Go and wash it. It's not mantle. The best a pastor can give is to teach you the word of God and present Christ from the scriptures. Is anybody angry with pastor? Tap your neighbors, even if you're angry with my pastor. You fit in to do anything. That's not in the dictionary anyway. No, I say read verse 9, uh, put 19 again. Put the verse 19 again. Put verse 19 quickly. Quickly, verse 19. 
6, 19. So, can we read? What? Know ye not? Your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit, which is in you. It's not talking about another body. This one you have. God lives in you. Therefore, you are anointed. Raise your hands before the Lord. Say, my hands are anointed. Stamp your feet on the ground. Say, my feet, they are anointed. Say, all part of your body, they are anointed. Because God did not come. Say, let me enter the head first. After three years, I'll move to the throat. After four years, let me uh, uh, suffer his faith too. I'll now move to the chest. From there, after seven years, I'll the day you got saved, he came. He occupied every part of you. Am I communicating? Please, I beg you. All those small, small juju you are hanging in your house, you call it bango. And that's what is raining now. People must wear bango. I will not die. And they are dying. True of us. Who is pursuing you? You put it. I'm a member of Vinefield Church. Therefore, nothing will touch me. I wear it. So where is Christ? If Christ is in Bango, let all of us buy the whole Bango in the market. If Christ is in the bottle, let's buy the whole bottle. You know, we went to make adverts in uh, Wazobia three years ago, and all of a sudden, say grace, grace, grace. I just bought car. Grace is speaking. If grace is speaking over car, what about the manufacturer? Graces. Graces. What about the one that gave parts to the manufacturer? Grace is not a thing. Grace is a person. And that person is who? Some will say, I tap into your grace. Let me ask your neighbor, are you a pan wine tapper? Grace and peace are multiplied through the knowledge of Christ. Knowledge increases your awareness of what you have in Christ. And then you live life effortlessly. That's what they call grace. Not all this. <laughs> Pastor, I'm coming to tap. I'm, I'm, Pastor, you are too much. I tap. As I, I should put it under your feet. I tap with this. You see, you see greed in manifestation. With this, I draw one million from you. That is Naira Bet. <laughs> tap your neighbor. See, that is Naira Bet. How will one million drag? One thousand drag one million. From which God? Ask your neighbor, say, from which God? Why are you looking at me? Tap your neighbor. You want to collect this money. <laughs> now say you want to tap him. <laughs> Hallelujah. Help me raise up your right hand. Say my reality, my reality. Is, in is in Christ. What he has done for me, done. nothing can be added. Nothing, nothing can be subtracted. The Bible says that I am complete, I am complete. in Christ. So you don't need those small juju. If you are complete, you don't need small small juju. <laughs> That's why I like this. My pastor, as he was coming from Israel, he prayed over this oil. He laid down on it. He shot. He laid his leg on it. Laid hands. Lay head. He said, "Anytime I'm going for interview, use it. You have started practicing idolatry." Uh, what's the name of A. W. Toza said? If we try to imagine God, we end up with an idol in our mind. He said an idol of the mind is as offensive to God as the idol of the hand. He said the essence of idolatry is the formation of images. Before a man has an idol at the back of his door in Benin City, he has had the idol first in his mind. From the mind now, he will go and look for condemned auto parts that Aboki should have bought and put them at the back of his door. Before you know, he will carry cola from the market and put it there. Before you know, he will push snap there. And every morning, he will start buying down to eat. That idol did not come overnight. It started in the mind. And most believers have started having idols. There are different handkerchief. There are different colors of olive oil. Some say the red one is for favor. The other one is tant miracle. The other one, if you want to marry, put it. The other one, remind me now, some of you, you just came from there. The green one is for green pastures. Uh -huh. Which other one? It's laughable. But if you know the number of people that are perishing those things, you will weep for our country, Nigeria. Can I talk? 
the state of our nation is a true state of the church. We are talking about politicians. What about pastors? If we are ready to stick with the truth, this world will change. We are not respected because we have been corrupted. You didn't hear what I just said. We pride in the flesh. <laughs> One day, I won't talk about any other person. There's a popular musician in Nigeria. Somebody was telling me about the guy. I said, ah, do you know I know him? <laughs> I know him. He's my friend now. Huh? He's my friend now. Huh? I took my phone. Bah, bah, bah. I called him by name. Oh boy, Hannah, you don't do. And then I put it on speaker so that the person will hear. But I heard in my spirit, loud and authoritative. Why are you doing that? You are seeking validation from men. Tap your neighbor. Say, stop seeking validation from men. I want to tell you. So that, do you know I know the governor? I'm a pastor. Okay, you want me to call the governor? <laughs> we can stick. Then he will not call me Papilo. I said, where are you there? I put it on speaker. I said, so at the end of the day, what has he added to me? We have no confidence in the flesh. Whether a governor or a president, Jesus is Lord. Jesus is faithful. Jesus has taken hold of my life. And I cannot let go of him. Who is the first to say amen? Do you want me to close now? Okay. We have just started part two. What did I say? Part two. All right, part two. All right, let's read First Thessalonians chapter 5 from verse 12. I just want you to know something. First Thessalonians 5, 12 and 13. And then I will read Timothy and I will close. But look at your neighbor again. Say all those small, small juju you are hanging in your house. You will throw them away after this message. You don't need them. Say so even if you still want them. It's no longer pastor's headache. Mm, carry go now. To the extent we have, we have reduced ourselves to things. But we forgot that we started in the spirit. That's why I say, oh, foolish Galatians. We have so many foolish Christians. See, it's a description. It's not an insult. Bible say in the book of Matthew, call no man foolish, so that you will not be in the judgment of hell. Yeah. In Luke 24, 25, Jesus looked at the disciples, say, Oh foolish Galatia. Where were they foolish? He said, Oh foolish, oh fools, slow of heart to believe. So their foolishness was tied to their unbelief. Your foolishness is tied to your unbelief to believe all that is written. You still believe that man of God as he did this Agbada like this people fair. He did like this on our affair. Now he has told me, put this my shoe. Remove the shoe. Put it on your head. We do despicable things. Despicable things. I've seen somewhere. I was sitting in my office. I saw them. They brought train. They put they cut bread with their hands. Hands that they have not washed, put on the tray. The woman, you know, most of them are women. Put water in our mouth, like uh, uh, olive oil in our mouth. Went to the train, <laughs> anointed it with them. The foolish people ran there to pick their own to it. All the umeku in the teeth, umeku is those green, green, uh, yellowish things that hang. It says anointed bread. What did I call it? And, and people were rushing to eat. Sometimes, this thing we are saying, PhD holders, they are there. You are laughing. Professors are there. Because you see, there is a cry in man for the supernatural. Every man. However, being born again has initiated you there. But because you are not taught, you still feel there is another way to eat. Am I communicating? As a woman, I saw people created very well in Christ. Because they have confidence in the flesh. That bread they can see. 
they were you know Nigerians now they will fall the train fell people were collecting their own. mommy has anointed it with a saliva above her fellows people were chopping I did like Egg. after cleansing it didn't change the situation that is the situation we are today but we are the circumcision that worship God in the spirit and have no confidence in the flesh Am I teaching good today? This is the man of God you should respect. And we beseech you, brethren, know them which labor among you and are over you in the Lord and admonish you. Next. And to extend them how? For their work's sake. Where is the labor? In the world. Help me tap your neighbor. Say the labor. Or like Ghana, the labor is in the world. The labor is in the world. Tap your neighbor, say the labor is in the world. So people who labor to teach you, respect them. Finally, 1 Timothy 5 and verse 17. That thing I should have gotten by giving you juju to take to your house. Sometimes I'll ask you to pay for it. First person to bring 10,000 error. <laughs> this is what the Bible says. We'll read with different rendering. First Timothy 5 17. Let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honor. Who are they? Especially they who labor well. Not the ones that say, come, come on. Pastor Charles, come and touch my shoe. Come on, receive, receive, receive it. Receive it. Touch, touch my shoe. Follow, try and fall. fall. You're you not grateful. Even your weight will even push me down. <laughs> no. Say, Pastor, why are you I'm not. I'm teaching my congregation. Yes, sir. Don't be a victim of those rubbish. The people that must be honored are those who labor. He said, elders who do their work well should be respected and paid well. Especially those who work hard at both what? Not those who are trying to, the more you look, the less you see. It's an Aramaic word, which is called abracadabra. Yeah? What did I say? This word you hear, abracadabra. It's an Aramaic word. Abra the more you look, the less you see. You try and catch it up, it becomes banana. It says power. <laughs> power. One was told me on this warfare road. Who threw egg up when it fell? It was blood. I said, and so what? But to convince the people that there is power. If egg turned to blood, that's magic. Are you angry with me? That's magic. How does that affect my salvation? Does it strengthen my faith in the Lord? Talk to me. Does it strengthen my faith in the Lord? They give you, they bring, see, bring bowl of water. As I provide that fire will catch, boom. And so what? If fire catch for water, what it cause I mean? If I even pour fuel in a river and put fire, it will light through of us. Oh, you don't know? How come vessels burn on top of the, on top of water? It's a fuel. It will lick it up. Am I communicating? You don't need all of those things. Look at your neighbor. Say, stay with the word. Give me a message. Say, stay with the word. Give a bonus to leaders who do a good job. Especially the ones who work hard at preaching and teaching. People who can open the scripture up. Not those who say. Raise up your telephone. You'll soon receive a lot. From which bank? Ask me. Ask me. Say from which bank? Is God a thief? Which bank will you collect money from and credit? Oh, you don't understand what I'm saying. Because people have been deceived. They believe it a lot. A lot. From where? He will go to Zen, steal from there, take from Echo Bank. And you are so bewitched. And that is why I say, oh foolish Galatia, who has bewitched you? Bewitchment is a teaching. Bewitchment is a training. Maybe we'll close there. Where we started from. Galatians 3.1. We'll use different rendering now. We are true is where we started from. To prove to you that I'm true, Emeka is carrying my things. Eh, the one where? The one. Eh, okay. We'll keep that one first. Hallelujah. Blessed today. Did that offend you? 
Give me a diff, uh, no, where did I quote? Galatians 3 verse 1. Galatians, maybe my voice, I'm not the boy. Oh, foolish Galatians. Who? So what, I don't like this. There's another enemy that says, who has just you? So it means it's hypnotism. What did I call it? Oh, foolish Galatia. Who has cast a spear, an evil spear on you? It's a spear. That a man, that is, go and bring it. He's moving like, he's moving like this. After everything, the eye has cleared. There's one like that. I'm not saying you should not give church land. I'm not saying you should not give church property. But don't give it under the influence of manipulation. Let the love of Christ in you be the reason you give. Not because someone has cast a spell on you. After you give, seven days later, I say, bring my, the document. I don't change my mind. The spell don't go. Am I communicating? So you don't say, this pastor, but I say not like good things. He's a liar. I like good things. But we will not lie to have good things. Because these good things, we only need them here. After here, there's another life that continues. Another rendering. Now, why are they waiting? Message. I'm true. I just want to deal with the word. The, the, who has bewitched you? The church word is bewitched. Somebody carries one oil. Say, this one is Reverend Dr. Professor Uncle Naipre Put. Somebody at the top oil. Have you, know, do you, you notice it? If I, not in this church, there are places that say, when coming tomorrow, the Lord appeared to me. And he said to me, son, tell them to bring oil that will last them for one year. Some will bring a drum. You need to see some people and they will bring one big bottle. Every spirit of Goliath I bring you down. For what? So much is in me. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in, is in the world. I affirm who I am. Whatsoever is born of God overcome the world. I'm an overcomer of the world. You crazy Galatians. Did someone put a hex on you? Have you taken leave of your senses? Something crazy has happened. For it is obvious that you are no longer that you no longer have the crucified Christ in clear focus in your life. His sacrifice on the cross was certainly said before you clearly enough. You don't like that one. You must give me something. You call it blessed water. A man of God told us once, yeah, how that he was using his own sweat to anoint people. Oh. Okay. Anointing of sweat is anointing of suffering. Sweat is the result of work, labor. So if I'm anointing you with sweat, I'm anointing you with labor. Is it blessing? Why is it that people don't like simple truth? But you, you like simple truth. You foolish Galatians, who has put a spell on you? Before your very eyes, you had a clear description of the death of Jesus. The death of Christ in your life will never be in vain. I pray for you today. Judebo Safra Stepera. That all that Christ has done in your life, the giving of the Spirit to you, that through the Spirit, you will navigate your way through this earth. That your health will not fail you. Your body will not fail you. Your finances will not fail you. Your family will not fail you. The work of God in your hand will not fail. Your business will not fail. Why? Because Christ is in you. And because Christ is in you, you are an overcomer of this world. The Bible says, be of good cheer. You have overcome the world. Temptations will come. But the one that overcomes is in you. Father, we thank you. We give you glory. In Jesus' name we pray.